Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install FTP on Windows Server 2008. On the server, click on Start. Click on Server Manager. And now we're going to add a role, so click on Roles. And then click on Add Roles to the right. Now here, checkmark web server IIS. When you checkmark web server IIS, this window will show up saying that to run web server IIS, you need the process model configuration APIs. So just click on add required features. And click next. Now here you can take your time to read this. I have limited time so I'm just going to click on next. And where it says uh, role services, scroll down until you find FTP publishing services. And when you check mark this, it will ask you that to run FTP you need uh, IIS management compatibility and metabase compatibility like you see here so just click on add require role services and it, it will install the required services for you to run FTP which is really good compared to previous uh, ser Windows uh, servers just by checking FTP it'll also add the IIS and click next now this is just a warning it might uh, restart after configuring the FTP click install perfect it has installed success uh, successfully and that I need to turn on my automatic updates I'm gonna close here and now instead of using the default in a pub root I have created a folder in my desktop so I'm gonna drive all the FTP users to that folder so I'm gonna click start administrative tools and click on internet information service IIS 6.0 manager I'm going to expand the server expand the FTP I'm gonna make sure that this is disabled because I, I'm gonna create a custom FTP so I'm just gonna right click FTP sites and click on new FTP site in the wizard just click next and then the description I'm just gonna name it avoid errors and click next remember this is just the description nothing else here I'm gonna leave it at default all unassigned but you can select a the IP address of the server if you want to so like I said I'm gonna leave it default all unassigned and click next and here you can uh, read these three options I'm gonna leave it default do not isolate users but you can select to isolate them or use the active directory but I'm gonna leave it default and click next now the path is gonna be that folder in the desktop so I'm gonna browse for that folder here it is so I'm going to drive all my FTP users to this folder instead of the root, the default created by uh, Windows Server. And then click Next. The following permissions, I'm just going to leave it read, not write, for this tutorial. And click Next. And click Finish to the wizard. Perfect. Now I have my FTP running. 
now I'm going to create a test file and put it on the avoid errors folder which is the FTP folder I'm going to refresh the my FTP and here it is test now we need to configure the Windows firewall the Windows firewall applet and the control panel that utility doesn't have all required features to enable all of the features for the FTP so we're going to run a command in the command prompt the command that I'm running is for non-secure socket layer I have one in my description box for secure socket layer also this command here is to open port 21 on the firewall it gave me an OK so it's perfect now this following command is to enable stateful FTP filtering it's also in the description below click enter and then it should give you an OK perfect now if you want to you can verify just close the window here click on start then go to the control panel in the control panel go to Windows firewall now here click allow a program throughout Windows firewall and click on exceptions tab and then go down until you see FTP non secure socket layer I have one for secure socket layer remember in the description now I'm gonna cancel this box here close all the windows now we're going to access locally this test folder so now from inside the network type FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address of your server then type your username and password or the username and password of the user click OK and you should be able to have access to the files inside the uh, FTP folder and depending on the rights they have they can manage their files now to access the uh, FTP externally remember you have to configure the firewall to enable port 21 to that a specific IP address like you see here once configured all you need to do is access your FTP throughout your external IP address like you see here the same type your username and password and they will be redirected to the server FTP perfect if you would like to know who is logged in to your FTP all you need to do is go to the server FTP right click your FTP and click on properties and then click on current sessions and here you know who is logged on to your FTP and you can disconnect them if you like thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel feel free to post any questions in the comment section below thank you